remember when we followed the engineering design process before, we've already asked, what problem are we solving for the people in Botswana? To give them a solar oven so they could cook the food. Right, without using a fire which has a negative environmental impact. So we've imagined when we talked about our solutions and we've tested a lot of items. For the imagined step, you're going to complete two ideas independently. You're not gonna talk to anyone else. You know how we've been working in groups all week and talking together? You're gonna have 10 minutes where you don't talk to anybody. You have to choose, choose the materials that go in each idea. So idea one, what materials? Idea two, what materials? So you're gonna imagine first. Um, we're not sharing, we're independent imagining, independently. So now you're gonna take your imagine step and you're gonna plan. You're going to use your ideas and come up with what you think is the best insulators inside your oven. So I'm gonna give you guys five minutes of discussion. You can put the plastic bag like out here on the sides. Remember yesterday when we did the foam? It, it only let 11% of the heat energy go out to, to the colder places. And, and I think the felt is a good insulator that might fit in with the foam. We all want ours to be flat. So I heard some great discussion and I heard you guys agreeing and disagreeing about materials that were going to be a good insulator. So now it's time to come up with how many plans? One. So you're going to first do a, um, what was that word that you used? Diagram. Right, you're gonna fill out your diagram. You're gonna draw arrows, list your materials, where are the materials gonna go, and you're choosing the best what for your solar insulator. oven? Insulator. Yes, we're gonna choose the best, the best insulator or combination of materials that are gonna be the best insulators. So what materials going on the bottom? And then like, we're we gonna put, put like the cotton balls, like all around, and then on here. Foam up here and felt down here, newspaper, and we pick all these stuff because the heat energy will keep it warm. And this is foam, these two shapes are foam. So felt goes around your cooking pot? So why did you choose those materials? Because they're warm. They feel warm, and you think the things that feel warm are gonna be the best insulators? So you think you guys are gonna have the warmest oven? So finish your plan, and then we'll get a materials list so you guys can go to the store. So you should have completed your plan, top view, side view. So you're gonna make your materials list. Without all these things completed, we're not going to the store, and it's that time now. I will sign off, and after I have checked your plans, you can go to the store. And then your foam, you're gonna get one sheet of foam and you're gonna shred it and it goes right here? Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> I think you're ready. Let's go to the store. Go back to your seat. You have to have a teacher come to you. Where does the newspaper go? It goes, you make two trips of purple foam. And then you can move my hand. Keep it in there. Keep it in there. Okay, now. Most groups are ready to test, so we're gonna go outside and get ready. But first, let's talk about our solar oven testing temperatures. Can you turn to your solar oven testing temperature page? And we're only gonna take one packet per group. So you're gonna take the time in degrees Fahrenheit. The minute we take it outside, we're gonna take our first reading, and then we're gonna come back in how many minutes? Five, and then? Ten. And then? Fifteen. So we're gonna go out now, we're gonna place our solar ovens facing the sun. So I'm gonna need one oven carrier, one packet carrier, and one pencil holder. So what we want is the reflector portion to face the sun. Can you guys turn and face the sun? That's like a mirror. Like a mirror. All right, you got it? Set it down. Oh, 
As soon as your ruler goes in, take temperature number one. Do it now. Don't move it once you take your first reading. One person and one person only is gonna come take your temperature. Go take your five minute temperature. Temperature, get your pencil from Miss Martha. 92 degrees. So 90. 97. All right. So it went from 70 to 92 to 97. And we have one minute and we're gonna take our next reading, okay? This is your 20 minute. Take your temperature reading, do it now. All right, boys and girls, listen. I need you to take your sheet and very gently slide it under your box. So we tested our ovens yesterday and can anybody tell me what happened as time went on? Yes. It got hotter. It got hotter. So what I want to do now is look at our data, look at our temperatures over 30 minutes. What you want to look at is how fast did it get hot? How long did it stay hot? And did you lose any heat after your maximum temperature? You want to improve by making your oven hotter and you want it to stay hot. And I want you guys to have two minutes of discussion around your table. Our highest score was 114 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, I was thinking that like foam, you could do like platform, we could get a big piece and go like put it over here on the sides. Then we could get, get some shredded foam and put it in the inside like this. Okay, so now we're gonna figure out our uh, total score, our heat score for our ovens. So what I want you to do is find your maximum temperature of your solar oven. You should have already done that. And can you put your finger on it? Can you find this box where it says heat score, record the maximum temperature of your team solar oven. Can I have a group work with me? Write your maximum score here on this line. And it was what? It, uh, it was um, 108. Can, I do Can you write it right here? Okay. Square table's maximum temperature was 108 degrees. Now you're gonna have to look at your table and ask them, what is the total number of materials you used? So four. So you're gonna write the total number of materials. They use four materials, and you're gonna write their total number here. So four. Mm -hmm. Your total heat score, you're gonna write this number here, so 108 here. So 108 here. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna subtract your total number of materials. So since they use four materials, they're gonna subtract four. So 108 minus four is? Equals 100. So I thought we could do what's called a museum walk. You're gonna walk around as engineers studying other people's designs and saying, oh my gosh, their maximum heat score was 108. That's amazing. I wonder how their design is different from mine. I wonder how I can improve my design and get a higher total score. So did they use different materials than you? What materials are different? Yeah, they, they use foam, they use foam, felt, and foil. They only use three. They only use three. But so theirs was better because they, they, have, they, have better they have better insulators. They have better insulators. All right, do you guys have some good ideas? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. In five, four, three, two, one, and rotate. High to low. It went high to low. 89, high to low. Up high. Okay, did you guys get some good ideas? Yeah. What is the next step? We created, we tested. What is our next step? Raise your hand. Can okay, everybody shout it out? Improve! Let's talk about the improve step. You're gonna talk about the total score for your design. What part of your solar oven design works well? What parts of your solar oven design do you think did not work as well if your score wasn't what you wanted it to be? How might you improve your solar oven? What can you change about your design? Write and draw some ideas in your box. Any materials you need from the material store, you have to put here. What do you think did not work well? I, I don't think the newsprint worked well. Do you guys agree? So you're gonna take newspaper out of your new design? Well, we're gonna keep it in here. We're just gonna add more stuff. 
You're gonna keep all your materials and then get more materials? We're just gonna cover it with, with better insulator. Oh, okay. So what's a better insulator than the newspaper? The, the construction no. paper? No, 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 no. The glass. So this is the solar. All right, where's your materials list? Okay, so you'll ski and say flat and shredded. And then you can go to the material store. Mm -hmm. Nice lady. Oh, how many pieces? Okay. And this is your old one. So then, get some and we. What I love today, it was amazing. Every single child was engaged and they were building and they were excited and they were talking and they were using the vocabulary and it wasn't coached and it wasn't forced. They were just really excited and they were very invested in their solar oven and they were sure it was gonna be a success. And I just at tears in my eyes at just their level of excitement and engagement. And they're talking about being engineers and oh, I can do this all day, every day. So they're seeing opportunities that they never thought of before.